All right, what is the difference between the stomach flu and food poisoning? Excellent oh, question, yeah. excellent question. That's See, no one. stupid question. Well, I, I think in medicine, <laughs> what you learn once you go to medical school is so much of medicine is semantics. Mm -hmm. Really, you're talking about the same thing. There really is no, there's yeah. no word in medicine, there's, a, there's no term stomach flu. Right. Stomach flu so, does not really exist in not, our parlance. That's a layperson term. It's right. not influenza. Right, yeah. so uh, but, any GI illness, gastroenteritis, lay people will call it the stomach flu. Mm -hmm. And this gastroenteritis can be caused from either food poisoning right. or a virus. We don't always know the cause, mm -hmm. but that's what everyone in the lay, lay public will call stomach flu. It's yeah. really, the, it but, can be the same thing as yeah, food. It's it's a the same. Similar, symptoms are very similar. You, know, you just feel like crap, you know, vomiting, diarrhea. Uh, but, you know, if it's an infection caused by a stomach virus, that's one thing. Or if it's caused by a food you ate, that's another thing. And, you know, I found usually the, the food the food poisoning tends to be, you know, it's bad, but it, it tends to go away pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Maybe within 24 hours, uh, you're starting to feel better again. It, it goes away quicker, but I, I think it's it's worse symptom-wise. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're sicker I mean, you, while you're sick. You feel pretty sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's not, the, the, the thing is, food poisoning, the food is not what's poisoning right. you. It's some bacteria it's in that food, in food. So whether it's, all it's raw infection. meat, raw, yeah, so yeah, it is all, all infectious. infectious. Yeah. Whether it's, just it's a, a bacteria question. or a virus and how quickly you get better. And, and this may that. be too much information for people, but when we talk about viral gastroenteritis, that's where we talk about, you know, if you go use the toilet, you have this virus in your system, you have diarrhea, then I go use the toilet, touch the handle, mm. you can pass touch it. my lips, mm. then I get it. Yep. Food poisoning, yes, it's usually from some sort of bacteria in the food, but you're not passing it from touching things. You're passing you know, it from actually eating the injecting. meat or raw eggs. And in kids especially, you know, it's important, if you do have that, it's important to stay hydrated. And, uh, you know, oftentimes kids will be thirsty and will, will want to just gulp down a bunch of liquid, and that makes it more likely to just throw it all back up again. So you want to do slow, small sips frequently, you know, like popsicles, mm -hmm. ice cubes, things like that. will keep them from sippy taking cup. too much sippy cup. Easiest yeah. way to avoid food poisoning, just make sure your food is thoroughly cooked.